We're reading the Quran. And we're starting on 94. And take not your oath to practice deception between yourselves with the result that someone's foot may slip after it was firmly planted. And ye may have to taste the evil consequences of having hindered men from the path of Allah, and a mighty wrath descend on you. Nor sell the covenant of Allah for a miserable price, for Allah is a prize far better for you, if ye only knew. What is with you must vanish. What is with Allah will endure. And we will certainly bestow on those who patiently persevere the reward according to the best of their actions. I like that right there. What is with you must vanish. Okay? So stop hoarding all the wealth. Billionaires, come on. Oh, I didn't, I missed one word here. My OCD need to make sure all the words of the verse are highlighted that I like. Whoever works righteousness, man or woman, and has faith, verily to him will we give a new life, a life that is good and pure, and we will bestow on such the reward according to the best of their actions. When thou dost read the Quran, seek Allah's protection from Satan, the rejected one, that's a, oh, the rejected one. What a cool way to phrase that. No authority has he over those who believe and put their trust in their Lord. His authority is over those only who take him as patron and who join partners with Allah. I know you guys have said that to me. You guys gave me the distinction last time. So here's just more evidence of that. When we substitute one revelation for another, and Allah knows best what he reveals in the stages, they say, Thou art but a forger, but most of them understand not. Say, The Holy Spirit has brought the revelation from thy Lord in truth, in order to strengthen those who believe, and as a guide and glad tidings to Muslims. We know indeed, they say, it is a man that teaches him. The tongue of him they wickedly point to is notably foreign, while this is Arabic, pure and clear. Those who believe not in the signs of Allah, Allah will not guide them, and theirs will be a grievous penalty. It is those who believe not in the signs of Allah that forge falsehood, it is they who lie. Any one who, after accepting faith in Allah, utters unbelief except under compulsion, his heart remaining firm in faith, but such as open their breast to unbelief, on them is wrath from Allah, and theirs will be a dreadful penalty. This because they love the life of this world better than the hereafter, and Allah will not guide those who reject faith. Those are they whose hearts ears and eyes Allah has sealed up and they take no heed without doubt in the hereafter they will perish but verily thy Lord to those who leave their homes after trials and persecutions and who thereafter strive and fight for the faith and patiently persevere thy Lord after all this is oft forgiving most merciful okay I'm gonna read wa lakad na lamu anahum Yakuluna inama you ali muhau bashar lisanulazi yul hiduna ilahi ai jami yun wa haza lisaunun arabi yum mubin ina alazina la yuminuna bi ayati la hila ya hadi himu lahu wa lahum azabun nalin inama yaftaril kaziba lazina la yuminuna bi ayati la wa ula ika humul kazibun man kafara bi lahi mim badi emenihi Ilaman ukriha wa 
kalbuhau mutma inumum bil imani wa la kiman sharah bil kufri sadran fa alaihim gadabum mina lahi wa lahum azabun azim zali gabi ana humus tahabul haita diunya ala akhirati wa ana laha lahiyahdil kahmal kafirin ula ikalazina taba alahu ala kalubihim wa samihim wa absarihim wa ula ika humul gafilun la jarama annahum fil akhirati humul kasirun thuma ina rabaka lazina hajaru mimba di ma futinu thuma jahadu wa sabaru ina rabaka mimba di hala karafurur rahim yay did it Yay, yay. One day, every soul will come up struggling for itself, and every soul will be recompensed fully for all its actions, and none will be unjustly dealt with. In Dante's Inferno, there's a scene, Dante Alighieri of Italy. He, you know, Dante's Inferno. Uh... There's a scene where all these souls are uh, in this pit in in one of the circles of hell and they are pushing each other, biting each other, scratching each other because they gave wrath in the world and then their punishment is to be in eternity feeling wrath in hell. That's what that reminds me of. Allah sets forth a parable, a city enjoining security and quiet abundantly supplied with sustenance from every place yet was yet was it ungrateful for the favors of allah so allah made a taste of hunger and terror and extremes closing in on it like a garment from every side because of the evil which its people wrought bruh that is very interesting every empire can come to collapse if god wills it Especially if they're just spreading evil and despair and horror and terror and hunger while the, some people get fat and lazy. I like that. And there came to them an apostle from among themselves, but they falsely reject him. So the wrath seized them even in the midst of their inequities. So eat of the sustenance which Allah has provided for you, lawful and good. And be grateful for the favors of Allah, if it is he whom ye serve. He has only forbidden you dead meat. Okay, this is important. He has only forbidden you dead meat and blood and flesh of swine. Any food over which the name of... Uh, uh, oh yeah, this is... That was earlier too we learned that. I can't remember which section we learned it in. Dang it. But we did learn this. And uh, other than no God... Sorry. I got distracted. And any food over which the name of other than Allah has been invoked. But if one is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, then Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. So remember my New Year's resolution was to give up pork. Today, one of the cooks, he made family meal. And he had a chorizo. With He made a chorizo frittata. Uh, and... I was like, oh, thank you, but like I put it in a to-go box so not to hurt their feelings, right? It's like candy pork. I put it in a to-go box, and then I gave it to my other co-worker when she clocked in. I was like, hey, you want to eat this? You want to take it home? I didn't touch it. Uh, you want to take it home? She's like, yeah. So it's like, I did the, yeah. Uh, I didn't eat one of the forbidden things, and I stuck to my New Year's resolution. But say... Not for any false thing that your tongues may put forth. This is lawful and this is forbidden. So as to ascribe false things to Allah. 
For those who ascribe false things to Allah will never prosper. In such falsehood is but a paltry profit. But they will have a most grievous penalty. To the Jews we prohibited such things as we have mentioned before, mentioned to thee before. We did them no wrong, but they were used to doing wrong to themselves. Interesting. But verily thy Lord, to those who do wrong in ignorance, but who thereafter repent and make amends, thy Lord, after all this, is oft forgiving, most merciful. Abraham was indeed a model, devoutly obedient to Allah and true in faith, and he joined not gods with Allah. He showed his gratitude for the favors of Allah, who chose him and guided him to a straight way, and we gave him good in this world, and he will be in the hereafter in the ranks of the righteous. So we have taught thee the inspired message, follow the ways of Abraham, the true in faith, and he joined not gods with Allah. The Sabbath was only made strict for those who disagreed as to its observance. But Allah will judge between them on the day of judgment as to their differences. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching. Beautiful preaching. And argue with them in ways that are best and most gracious for thy Lord knoweth best. Who hath strayed from his path and who received guidance? And if ye do catch them out, catch them out no worse than they catch you out. But if ye show patience, that is indeed the best course for those who are patient. And do thou be patient, for thy patience is but from Allah, nor grieve over them, and distress not thyself because of their plots. Don't distress yourself because of their plots. Don't get like too caught up in their business. Understand what you can control and what you can't control. For Allah is with those who's restrain themselves and those who do good. Restraining the self can be hard sometimes. Sometimes I want to be so mean to somebody who's being mean to me, but I have to hold it back. I do. It's not easy. But man, gotta do it. Oh, want a new section? Uh, Al-Isra. Okay, so cut it off here. We're gonna be the new section.